welcome back to the channel. So first of all, pardon my work outfit. I'm going to work literally right after I film this. This video is something I wanted to film for years and I finally have the opportunity to do it. And I'm very excited about it. And of course, what I'm talking about, what you guys saw in the thumbnail is that I'm opening a brand new iPad and Apple pencil. So I am super excited to be able to do this for you guys today. I have been through hell and back with this package. I ordered it a week ago on July 19th. It was supposed to be here this that Wednesday and didn't show up. UPS actually lost my package, so I had to file an investigation with Apple and they just sent me the replacement one that just got in today. So I am very excited to show this for you guys, let you know what I think about it. But let's go ahead and hop into this unboxing. Okay, so first things first, the addition that I did get, I got the Apple iPad Air Generation 4. I got it in the green color. This one was released last year in like October or November of 2020. So it is the newest iPad Air model. I did not get the Pro. Um, I did read through the specs online and just did not feel the need to get the Pro with a, what I'm gonna be using it for, which is my, like, most of the time I'm just gonna be using it for note taking, for school, and for just simple, like, graphic design things. Nothing that I'm like, I have to have a Pro for. And then the Apple Pencil that I got is just, of course, the Apple Pencil 2 that goes with the iPad Air and is um, synced with that as well. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a lot of note taking, so I wanted something to actually be able to physically write things. If I type things, I don't remember them. So getting an iPad with an Apple Pencil that I can physically write on is really what I needed. I am filming this next bit on my roommate's little like table that we have that sits in front of our couch to eat on because I don't have a proper desk here. So just as an FYI, if things look different, Okay, I have not opened this at all. So the most satisfying part is of course the little tab peels. So Ah. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at the back. Okay, we'll get to the iPad in a minute. I'm first gonna start with what comes in the box. So of course there's that little instruction, like manual warranty stuff that comes with it. And then it does come with a charging brick and then the cord, which I believe is, yeah, just like a USB-C, which is what all of the MacBooks use. So I could also plug this into my MacBook charger. Okay, so that's as far as like stuff in the box. So I'll move this out of the way. And we have our iPad. So I guess really it's time to open her up. Okay, so I do not have a screen protector right now. I do have one on the way since it actually arrived today, but I guess we're just gonna have to start her up, see how all this goes. Okay, hello, English. Yay, okay, setup is fully done, we are open. It is just your generic stuff in here. I might have to... Let's see, go to my contacts, because I might have to import. No, they're in here. Okay, so I clearly have a lot of customization to do, and I'm going to do that, and then I will get back to you guys. But I'm going to take a pause on the um, iPad for now, and we will go to the Apple Pencil. So this is the, of course, other part of our unboxing. This is the first ever Apple Pencil and iPad I've ever had, so I'm not entirely sure what all comes in here. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of like safety and handling warranty stuff that comes with the Apple Pencil, holy heck. All right, so there's not a ton, but here itself is the actual pencil. 
Oh my gosh, I love how it feels in my hand. That is so fun. Okay, so I think you just do that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go do some experimenting and kind of customize this iPad and try to figure things out and then I will get back to you guys to show you how I did that. Okay, so it is actually the next day, but I did work last night and wanted to kind of just experiment a little bit with the iPad. I did take it to work and it was very helpful for note taking and things there. I still have a lot of things to learn, but as of right now, very basically, this is what my iPad is looking like. Okay, when you first open the iPad, it looks just like this. This is a little collage that I did put together through my Canva. I do have everything right now and a bunch of folders just while I try to figure things out. But essentially, this is like a vision board to me and it fits my aesthetic. So just want to read more, be more active with the bike, clear skin, travel. Just a very cute beige aesthetic background. But I do have quite a bit of other apps on here to go through. I did, of course, pull in my Notion. This is, for those of you who don't know, the app that I use to plan a lot of my life. I do have a bullet journal that I like to use. I like to have a physical thing to plan in as well. But as far as like on the go, this is the app that I use. I do have a whole video on that. And I'll just go through kind of how I arrange it. So Utilities just has like the generic apps that come with your iPhone, essentially. And then I did download Widget Smith. I'll show you where those widgets are in just a moment. Socials, as of right now, I just have Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. The Instagram looks weird, so I didn't end up downloading it or keeping it downloaded because it's like formatted for the phone and not for the iPad. So I will experiment with the Socials tab, find some other things see if I can do anything about that. But this is what is in there for now, just my Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, which are all linked in the description down below, so make sure that you go actually check those out. And my TikTok as well is down there and that Instagram. Then I have the editing tab, which just has stuff that I would generally use for my YouTube, specifically thumbnail making. So I do, of course, have Canva. This is kind of how I make thumbnails right now. This was this last Sunday's one. So it starts like this and like in here I have my fonts saved and like a brand kit so I can do that. Formulate my thing in here, then plug into Lightroom to fix the colors. Photoshop Express is what I use to make like this cutout of myself. And then Procreate is where I would then upload that photo from Canva. So this photo and then I would just trace a white line around myself for the thumbnails which I'm sure you guys have seen. Then of course I have my media folder which just has YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus, and Spotify. So, and I do really really like the YouTube features. I like how large it is and everything and yeah. Then I have all of my school stuff in here. And then I did take advice of a lot of people and I downloaded Notability. Right now I'm trying to just get used to it, figure out what all you can do. But like, for example, this one I've just been experimenting with like the tools. So this one just experimenting, like here's the dotted lines. You can do like, if I were to write my name and I have it on a big thing right now, but you can do, that's the biggest, this is the smallest. So, bunch of different things, but that is that. The last thing really that I've customized so far is just my widgets, which are in this side screen. Like I said, I do have Widgetsmith again, so I just added a little calendar. I do have the weather app in here, which is, this is not where I am. It's just plugged in for Apple right now. I have not really had time to update anything yet, but that's all in there. I put a little quote that says, stop creating competitions that don't exist. And of course, the 
time and sundial. But that is really it for today's video. I'm super excited to be able to use this iPad for school. Like I said, it's something I've wanted to get for years and I'm so glad that I finally had the ability to do it. Thank you, Grandma. That was both my birthday, Christmas, and graduation present, so thank you for that. Um, but I'm just super excited to use it, see how it'll help me with my art. Um, I do believe I'm getting something for my birthday that I can make designs for, so stay tuned for that. So, yeah. But, like I said, this is really it. As far as the iPad goes, I do love the iPad. I think the screen is a really good size. It holds charge really well. I like the Apple Pencil. Um, you do have to replace, if you did not know, the Apple Pencil tips every once in a while, so we'll see how long it takes for me to get through an Apple Pencil tip, but as of right now, I'm in love with it and can't wait to use it for its intended purposes. But if you guys did like the video, make sure to hit the like button down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, tips you wanna give me, whatever about the iPad, leave them in the comments down below. I do respond to every single comment. You can also give me messages on any of my social medias that are linked in the description as well. If you guys like me, or like I said, if you want to see my birthday video that is coming out this Sunday, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you do not miss it. But that is it for today. I will see you guys on Sunday.